Hi guys, I made a complete print-on-demand store selling only AI posters and in this two or three part series I'll be showing you the whole process from how I managed to set up such store through creating products on it and on the last step we're gonna take care of advertising on the social media. Just before we can get started I wanted to remind you that I have a coupon code on the best niche research website for print-on-demand there is, believe me, it is called Merch Informer and it enables you to find great niches on Amazon but as Amazon is the biggest marketplace out there this niche is also gonna work on Redbubble, TeePublic and obviously your own store which we are going to create shortly. The code you can use is following Johnny POD with double N you just need to put it in the coupon code section while buying your subscription and you will receive 20% discount. And now we can get back to the actual video. So without further ado, the website I used to set up the whole store is called Spring. And basically Spring is a print-on-demand website that enables you to set up your own shop for free. First step is simply to register your account and after that you will land on the home page of Spring from where I will simply explain every section there is. Basically, the whole process will look like that. You're going to create a graphic which then will be put on a different products. In my case, I put them on posters, as I said in the beginning of this video. When your listing is going to be created, Spring will automatically create a whole page for purchasing your product. When someone buys it, they will take care of printing, shipping, and you will be paid some percent of the product you sold, which is called artist margin or royalties. So now if you know the whole process, more or less how it looks like, I'm gonna very quickly explain every section you can see on the left panel after Teespring registration. The first one is upgrades where you can, for example, purchase your own domain or you can use other integrations programs uh, Spring does offer. The second one is analytics where you will be able to see how many sales has your store made, how many viewers have seen your listing and most important thing how much profit have you made so far selling your print-on-demand products. Then you have a listing section where you're able to view all your current listings, edit them, change the designs, change the graphics, add some additional products to your graphic, etc. Next is store section where you will be able to see your currently existing store, edit its name, URL, um, add social media profiles and also connect domain. Payouts is simply the place where you can follow your withdrawals, so I'm not gonna go very into details in that. My purchases is basically the place to your current domain subscription plan or any other payments you have done via Teespring. Tools and promotions is the place where you can create discounts for your customers and also add tracking pixels from websites like Facebook and Pinterest, which can be really, but really, really helpful while creating ads. Integrations is a super cool part that enables you to connect your store to, for example, YouTube, and on your channel under your videos your products will be visible um, so customers can like directly go into your website and finally settings is the section for setting up all your personal data payment methods and stuff like that also i'm not gonna go very into details here so now when you already have some knowledge about how website works and what section is for we can continue with setting up our store in my case, I wanted to create high quality posters. So my basic requirement is to make cool looking graphics with really high resolution. I think the best and the cheapest option is to use the AI tool, which is going to create incredible art for me and I will avoid paying other artists huge money. I chose the Mid Journey AI tool, which create like insane AI arts and for basic package it costs only $10 a month. Basically Midjourney works on Discord and after joining their Discord server you can create insane graphic by typing slash imagine and then describe what you want to create. So here are some examples of the art I've managed to create using this tool.
later, after creating my graphics, the biggest problem I faced was that the images generated by AI do not have that big resolution, and after uploading them on Teespring, they will be looking really, really bad after print. Hence, my only option is to upscale these designs. I'm going to be using the Gigapixel to do it. This is quite expensive tool because it costs around $100 for a lifetime subscription, but don't worry, I'm gonna leave some links to free AI upscalers which you can try, but please keep in mind that usually they have only something like trial version, limited credits, and eventually you'd have to pay either way. But use them, and if you see some sales on your store, you can then invest in buying Gigapixel. Now when my images are upscaled, I still need to improve the general look of my store. You can do it by going into stores, edit store, and then editing navigation bar, banner, footer, all stuff that is available there. You can also update your store name by clicking update name. I did all of that and here is the final result of my shop. When my shop is looking much better, I can continue with uploading my previously generated graphics. You can do it by going into create product, choose any product you like. As you can see, there are so many products you can choose from, from t-shirts to hats, stickers, blankets, all of that. In my case, as I said previously, I'm gonna go with home and decor and then wall arts, because in wall arts, you can see posters available to be printed. I generally recommend using something different than t-shirts as there are so many stores out there selling them and choosing wall art is a great way to create something more unique. Then you need to make sure your graphic is big enough. Um, as you can see, Teespring gives you the option to see uh, where it says if it's good, great, or um, if the quality is poor, please always check on that. I always try to keep my graphics uh, on the great status, so I'm sure that even after print, the details are not going to be damaged. After doing that, you can add title, description, and more or less, guys, that is it. Your product has been created and it can be sold right away. So after uploading like couple designs, here is the final look of my store. <music> still requires a lot of work but we're gonna cover it later. This is the end of the first part of our Teespring journey. On the next video we will be taking care of the purchasing your own domain, creating social media profiles, so please make sure you are subscribed so you'll be up to date with all new videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope it was quite informative. I hope it helped you and like inspired you to try to create your own AI store. Um, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.